Welcome, everyone. My name is Fausto Puglisi, President and Founder of Cybertrain University, and we're going to have a great, great event that we're going to be going on right now. We're going to talk about trading tools and want to thank everybody here that's logged in on social media. Uh, just make sure you ring the bell, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully, because uh, we do these events every single week, but we're live every morning and afternoon uh, going through our watch list. In the meantime, for some of you here, uh, you're here for the main reason is we're going to talk about trading tools. And I'm going to here to kind of show you how my favorite trading tools are. And by the way, these are not my, my favorite. This is what Wall Street traders use. This is what we use because that's what I was. I'm going to show you exactly what you need and what you don't need because a lot of you are making things more complicated than what it is. I'm going to show you what, how to do it the right way. Now, a uh, quick little disclaimer before we get started, um, just to let you know, this is strictly educational purposes only, and I'm not making any guarantees or promises that works or warranties. You know, everything is case by case per student. Just be very smart before you make your first trade investment out there in the market, because it is a volatile market. Now, just to let you know a little bit about myself, um, I've been doing this for over 30 years. I've been featured on some of the biggest uh, financial stations in the industry. And the big thing is these brokerage firms, these exchanges, um, everyone, they want you to know how to play the game because unfortunately there's a big, big failure rate in trading. And the reason why there's such a big failure rate in trading is because everyone just doesn't know how to play the game. And, um, you know, I've been through some of the worst things. I've been through the financial crisis. I've been through COVID, which I know a lot of you probably been through. Um, I don't know if it was during the market hours, but Hurricane Sandy, the 9-11, um, the internet bubble. I mean, the list can go on and on and on. What makes you a good trader is if you could survive through it. That's the big thing. Now, for doing it for 30 years, I love what I do, but I don't know if you guys have been doing it as long as I have. So my question to you is, can everyone just give me a chat in the chat room? Tell me, how long have you guys been doing it for? A couple of months, a couple of years? And I'm talking about seriously. I'm not talking about like, oh, I've been doing it for 30 years, okay? Because if you were... You mean you means you've been retired for 30 years and been doing this full time. A couple of years, just got started, Dolores. Okay. Ira, just uh you've been around since the flash crash. That was pretty cool. Mark, about three years. David, five years. Okay. So the big thing that I you have to know is um have you been trained by a professional trader? I mean, are you part of a team? Because I could tell you this, I can never be successful doing this by myself. Um, when I got started, I tried to do it myself. And I've learned that, well, my mentors taught me is that, listen, the only way I could have traded for someone is I had to split the profits. Today, you don't have to do that. But I tried to do it to myself and I lost miserably. But when I left, my, my mentors always taught me and said that, hey, Fausto, I know you're a family to us, you're good, but if you want to succeed, you got to find a team. You got to find people to trade with you. And that's what I'm looking for today, okay? So at the end of today's presentation, um, I'm going to invite all of you and introduce you to my team, okay? The thousands of traders that are part of Cybertrain University every day. And you're going to see how people around the world and how they trade and what they do. So there's a lot of them out there. And um, But if you're by yourself at home, trading by yourself, or maybe you are trading with team, you're not succeeding, Maybe there's a time for a change. And the reason why I ask everyone here how long you've been trading for is because, listen, if you're not making money within three months, six months tops, and you're still breaking even, maybe it's time to change. So these are some of the people you could see that are part of our family. They just look just like you. You know, they're engineers, grandmas and grandpas, cowboy, border control people, first responders. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. But, um, but to... Be good at it. You have to train with everyone like it. Now, um, I have basically two families. I have my trading family, and this is my lovely family, Debbie, uh, my wife, my three kids. I like to share that with you because I've been married for 25 years, and I really think that being part of a good trader, um, you know, kind of like gave me a good relation with my family because I take them with me wherever I go. I mean, you'll see me. I'll be trading. I'll be doing classes with you. And I, might, I might be in, you know, I was in... Uh, Chicago the other day. Then I was in, um, where was I the other day? Did a class. Uh, I was in DR, okay? Dominican Republic. Just a couple of, a week ago, a couple of weeks ago before that, I was in um, uh, Bermuda. You know, 
And it's great. You could do this anywhere in the world. Actually, that picture in the middle is a picture of Bermuda right there, actually, come to think about it. Um, but that's basically what trading is all about. You could do this anywhere in the world, but you got to know how to play the game when it comes to trading. And I also, what's nice about trading too, is it gives me the freedom to do things I like. I mean, I have my own home living channel, um, Fausto Home Living. Hopefully everybody subscribes to it. I just actually launched a new video, how to make uh, Italian broccoli rob. But you know what? This is the excitement about being a trader. And I know a lot of you here know what I mean. You don't want to sit here by a computer all day, do this all day. But to do it all day, and to, um, you're just going to turn your wheels. You just got to know how to play the game of trading because there's really a very small period of time to trade, the first hour and the last hour. But that's enough about me. Let's go about you. Let's get back into the training, okay? Let's get back to see how are those tools, how they work, Fausto. I mean, here you are. It looks like you have a great life. And I think I do, and I'm blessed. But I want to share that 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 life with you. I want you guys to have that life because some of you here are probably retired or about to retire or maybe you know got laid off or want to do something. There's no other business that's going to make you money like trading like you saw what happened past 2023. I mean, we had an incredible rally in the market. I mean, you know, the NASDAQ went up to 17,000. It was up literally up almost 70%. Um, I mean, but then what you have to worry about is what happened yesterday. You had the big crash. By the way, does anyone know why the market crashed yesterday? Just give me a yes or no, just out of curiosity. How, why did we have such a big correction yesterday? Nobody knows. Mike, you know. Patrick, you don't know. Profit taking? No, not at all. Not at all. There was a lot of options expired right at that time. That was the only reason why. And look what ended up happening. The market bounced right back. So that was the reason why for that. All right. But how did you know that? How do we know that? Because we trade the market every day and that's our job. Okay. Um, but that's where it comes down to it. But the thing is this. I know a lot of people are getting a little nervous. We did have a big rally. And you know what? Where there's big rallies, there's big crashes. And you got to be ready for the next crash. But Listen, crashes are good because, you know what, volatility is good because whatever we go long, we can go short, you know, but it's not about just the market. There were other things that move in the market. I don't know if you guys saw a CCC, you know, 4C or, or POL yesterday. Did anyone see these stocks? Unbelievable. CC, um, 4C, this stock ran from a dollar to about a bucket, 280. And the damn thing ran to $6. It just did not stop. Every day kept going up, going up, going up. It actually ran to $8 in three days. It became a day trade to a swing trade. I mean, that was, you know, this is, you're like, well, what does a company do? Who cares? Well, I know what it does. It was in the pharmaceutical industry. It came out a big drug. But they're there every day. This one traded yesterday, POL. Did you see this one? Was that $1.80 ran to $4 in about an hour? Damn thing ran to $11. Once one o'clock came, it was at seven. Then it ran to 11. It was up over 550%. Actually, it was up more than that. It was up over 1,000% in one day, okay? But how do you find them? We're going to talk about it. And what everyone else is probably going to say, well, how do you know when to get out? Because they don't go up all day. And yes, that's where we start talking about the number one rules about not holding overnights or averaging down. Because yes, whatever goes up will come down. And the issue that what you're about to learn today is going to be very disturbing because I'm going to teach you how to read the future. The future is where are these orders? You know, because last week's flavor is not this week's flavor. Every more every day, every week, there's always something new that's moving. And that's why a lot of people like what we do, because they're like, if you follow me on YouTube or you follow me on Facebook or Instagram or, you, you know, and you'll meet all the students out there. It's like every day is an adventure. Every day is just something new that's moving. But meanwhile, everyone wants to want to know, oh, what are the S&P futures are doing today? Oh, what are the S&P futures are I mean, it doesn't matter. There's always something that has less risk with more reward. But to do that, it all starts with the tools, okay? So let me get my tool from my tool set and show you what we need and what we don't need. Now, everybody here has access to these tools. This is not the Fausto platform we're selling you. You can get this with your brokerage firm. You can get this with your exchange, okay? And we're going to go into great detail. And then I'm going to show you how we trade with them, okay? So let me get one last chat back from everyone. 
Does everyone hear me okay one more time? I want to do a quick audio check. I want to make sure everybody's listening along, is not in La La Land and watching TV. John, you there? Ray, you there? Chris, you there? Sound good? Manny, yeah. Robert, good, 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 good. All right. So these are the really three big tools that we focus on. A scanner, a chart, and level three. Okay? So let's talk about the scanner really quick. Now, I was just talking to a student just uh, just before, and he was asking me, Fausto, like, how do you scan the market? How could you teach me how to find those scans? Well, let me tell you this. We do not give advice. We teach you how to make your own advice. We'll show you where to go fish, but we're not going to feed you the fish, okay? Feed a man for a day, you, you feed a man a fish, you feed him for the day. Teach a man how to fish, you feed him for life, okay? So here we have basically the way we find our stocks is just going through a big percentage gainers and losers. That's really about it. Now, if you're watching TV and you're watching the financial stations, or maybe you subscribe to a, a news service, whatever it is, those winners or losers are going to be in the scanner. Okay. They're there. They, you don't need to go crazy and figure it out. The issue what you need to understand is what we're going to teach you, you know, when, when, because um, I'm going to invite every one of you to come into my trading room for a week after this, we're done. You're probably asking me, okay, so how do I know to trade BBTS and not trade, um, you know, KC? Why should I short AGLE and not short BRZ? Well, maybe it has a big spread. Maybe it doesn't have a lot of volume. Maybe it doesn't have nice big block orders on the bid and offer. So there are a lot of things that make these stocks move, but... You only need one that's going to give you the least amount of risk with the high amount of reward. You don't have to kill it, okay? But everyone here, if you don't have a your, your percentage gainer and loser on your execution system, then I don't know who the hell taught you. And please don't take this the wrong way. It might be a little brash sometimes because I hate seeing people losing money. Probably looking at something wrong. That's really what comes down to it. Now, top gainers. Okay, let's look at some gainers really quick. Um, I'm going to bring up my execution system really quick here. So hold on one second. And uh, hold on a second, let me bring up a small version of it. Okay, so here's a small version of it. And you can see here that we have our top percentage gainers. We have our level two. We have our one minute chart. And we have a, and let me make this a little bigger. I don't know if this is distracting you, but I'll cover that up for you really quick. Okay, so you don't see any of that stuff. So you're basically seeing, um, you know, some data moving. Now, there are a lot of stocks that are moving this morning. So did anyone see the biggest percentage gainer this morning? SMFL. Did anyone see the stock this morning? SMFL. And Ray, you didn't see it? Well, 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 Ray, well, we'll talk about that. Ray has a question. I, I feel like I'm chasing stocks, and we'll, we'll, we'll cover that. Only see the top uh, top gainer. I got the chart up and running. Look what happened to this stock right here, and I want you to follow along really quick. This stock was on our – hold on a second. Let me show you what got going on here. Okay. So – um, hold on a second. Okay, right here. This is our trading room, okay? And I want you to look right here. See, it's right here. See that time right there? Okay, so this is, we start trading at, we start doing our watch list around 740. And you could see right here at 921, um, we do a watch list. Now, we broadcast live. Everyone you see here on the left, these are all our instructors, and these are all our traders, okay? So let me show you. These are all our traders right here, and you can see them all. So all the traders, see them all there? And right now, they're looking at a stock right here, okay? So the reason why I'm bringing this up is this. This stock that you saw on that watch list, SMFL, was right here. It ran from a dollar to three dollars and twenty cents. Okay, you do the math. 
Okay. You do the math. A dollar move on that stock. A dollar move. Is that, is everybody can see it? Not showing the chart. Hold on one second. Uh, maybe this will help. Screen three. Is that a little better? Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. I had it defaulted on the PowerPoint, not on the screen. Okay. So here, let me bring this back to you show what we got going on here. So here's our trading room. I'm going to invite all of you. And right here, you could see. Hold on. This right here. And that time right there. You see a stock right here, SML. These are the things that we trade. This is our watch list. We're going to give you a watch list because there are a lot of stocks that were in that watch list. But we're going to show you how to kind of find them and we're going to help assist you. And hey, this is what's moving. This is what to look at. These are all our trade, our instructors over here on the left. And right here, as we work our way down, those are all our traders, hundreds of them around the world. Okay. Now, let me move this over. But look at this stock, this move it made. This thing ran from one price to the other. Where did we find it? It was the biggest percentage gainer. Here's another one this morning. This stock ran MSAI at 930, ran from $5 all the way to $14, okay? And it came right back down. Now, your question is, okay, well, how would you know when to get out here? And how would you know when to get out here? This is what we're going to teach you in the next few moments, okay? But the thing is this, every one of these stocks that you're looking at, we find them right here. Look at this one right here that's moving. M-U-L-N, okay? Stock just started at, at 10, 11 o'clock this morning at $8. It ran all the way to 18. How did we find it? It's the third biggest percentage gainer on the NASDAQ. So I'm saying, so finding them is not hard, okay? The question is, how do we know where to get in and get out? That's what we're going to cover, all right? So let me move this over here and get this out of your way. Now, does anyone have any questions about the top percentage gainers and losers? Any questions so far? All right. So, no? Okay, good. All right. D don't worry. We're going to go into a little bit more in detail about it. Now, the next second biggest thing to do to have on your screen is a chart. Now, everybody wants to learn how to read charts. Okay. Now, the way I set up my charts is this. I have a one-minute chart and I have a daily chart. I don't need to have all these charts. And another thing do, uh, the thing I teach is to call the KISS method. Keep it super simple. I don't add indicators. I don't add, you know what the problem with indicators are? They're laggers. They were invented by mathematicians. Okay, what we're gonna show you next is how to read the future. So looking at a chart is great, but the question is, just because you had support and resistance levels in the past is not always indicative of the future. So charts are very important, but I have them defaulted as a one minute chart. So I know it's happening over the course of the day. And then I have them defaulted as a one day chart. And if I need to kind of like zoom in, I can zoom in, zoom out. These charts are so cool today. You could do a lot, but you got to be very careful because they could, they could be very, very overwhelming. And you could start adding and adding and adding. And you don't want to focus too much on the chart. What you really need to focus on is the orders, which we're going to talk about next. So... Finding them, you know, is is not that hard. You know, getting in and getting out of them, a lot of it is psychology and discipline. I do a lesson on that. But the big thing that we need to know is what is making these things move? How are they being controlled? Who is buying them? Who is selling them? That's the $64,000 question. Well, that's what we're going to talk about right now. So question to everyone here is, does anyone here have level two quotes? What we're looking at is a level two. Okay, now Mark, you do, and everyone else? Okay, now the next question is, do you know how to read it? That's the next question, yes or no? Ray, no, Robert, no, Mark, you know? Okay, what about you, Sid? I didn't hear from you. Damon, I didn't hear from you. Guys, don't, don't let me sit here and make me feel like I'm talking to myself. I'm here to kind of educate and stop you from losing money. Okay, so one no is more than enough. All right, so let me show you what you got going on because this is going to teach you how to read level three, which I know a lot of you don't have. Now, let me get my crayons out here. Okay, 
So these are your buyers. These are your sellers. The bid is the buyers. The ask is the sellers. You got three columns. One, two, three. The first column is a four-letter abbreviation of a brokerage firm or an exchange, like the NASDAQ exchange, New York Stock Exchange, EDGX, everything else. The way it works is this. Whoever wants to buy the stock for the most amount of money is up on top. Whoever wants to buy the stock for less money is down at the bottom. So what you're looking at is a negotiated market. People are just advertising you know, from that exchange, what they want to buy and what they want to sell it. So these people around the world, including yourself, you could see how those orders go. Now, we're just looking at a still shot. When I show you when the market's moving, it's a little bit more complicated. But just keep in mind three important columns, shares, price, and name. That's it. Now, this is the issue with level two. It's worthless. It's been outdated since the 90s. So if you have it right now, you're wasting your time trading off it. So then what do we use? We're going to use this. We're going to talk about NASDAQ Book Viewer. Okay. Now, does anyone here have level three or NASDAQ Book Viewer? Again, yes or no question. David, you do. Mark, you do. Frank, you don't. Okay, I know I know we have a bunch of your students here. No, no, no. Bob, you don't. Yes, because you told I told you about it. Okay. <laughs> That's good. All right. So what you're about to see here is this. Now listen to me carefully because I want this to sink in, sink into your head to realize what you have access to. You have access to the exchange. You actually have a seat on the floor. I don't know if you know that. You could actually go out there and buy and sell and compete against every brokerage firm, every exchange, every trader out there, okay? And when we go into the trading market, I'll show you how that works. But let's look at what we got going here. On this screen, okay, this is NASDAQ, okay? What you're seeing is the highest quoted price that someone wants to buy this stock, you know, on the NASDAQ. The problem is you're not seeing all the buyers. You're only seeing the highest quoted price out there. Now, when we go to the exchange, you're seeing all the buyers and all the sellers at every single price level. So where you're seeing Google at level two, where you'll see the biggest buyer at like 190, 139, there's a whole bunch of buyers every single price, but you're only seeing the best buyer and the best seller. That's the problem. But now you're seeing every price out there because on level two, there might be a bigger buyer down lower, but you're not going to see it. Here you will. Same exact thing. Buyers on the left, sellers on the right. How many orders, how many shares in that price? But now you're seeing all the orders out there. Now, let me explain to you what we're looking at. Here's the column right here in more detail. Buyers, sellers, three columns. You have the price they want to buy it for, the amount of shares they want to buy, and how many share, how many orders make up those shares. Whoever wants to buy high, the most is up on top. Whoever wants to buy less is down at the bottom. So you're seeing the true data of all, every single order at every single price. Now, how is that going to help you in trading? That's what we're going to learn next. So let me clear this out and show you how we use this data. Buyers make support. Sellers make resistance. So when we go out there and trade, we need to know why is a stock bounce out of support and why it hits a resistance you know, from a seller. Well, how do we know it's going to hit support? Like in this example, because there must have been a lot of buyers out there. Now, if you notice right here, this stock had a um, bounced right here at this, was this uh, $20.80? When you look at NASDAQ Book Viewer and you look down here, right around $20.75, you got 85,000 shares and 23 orders out there to look into buy at 
$20.75. Now, is that a lot of shares? Well, when you look at all the other buyers at every single other price level, you got 21,000, you got, I mean, 2,000, 7,000, 500, 200. Yeah, I would say 85,000 is a lot, okay? Now on level two, you wouldn't see that. Level two, you will only see 21,800, $21, $21.88. You wouldn't see the 85,000 at $20.75. So when you're, so the goal is that, and the way this, you're supposed to trade is you got to buy at support and you want to sell when there's resistance. Well, the only way to know where the support and resistance levels are, if those future buyers in the past are in the future, it's simple as that. Here's another example. Here's a stock that's going up, okay? And then it hits a resistance level at this $14.90 and it comes right back down to 14. Now, how would you have known it was gonna hit resistance at 14.90? Well, the guy on TV ain't telling you, okay? The news ain't telling you, but when you look at the exchange and you look at all these orders out there and all these shares, you'll notice that the one that has the most amount of shares tied to it is the $14.90 for 37,000 shares. And there are 14 people around the entire world that make up that 39,000 shares. So I don't know about you, but when I see 11 shares, 1,000 shares, 300 shares, 200 shares, 37,000, and I'm all the way down here, that's the number I'll be focused on. Not on some make believe oh you know 14 you know 15 is a big number never made 15. by the way if you were waiting for 15 you just if you had your limit order of 15 you just lost how many of you out there went out there and put a limit or say, oh i'm making money i'll put a limit order of 15 and like i didn't get executed it never got there because somebody went out there before you and if you knew he was out there you probably would have got out there before him um Well, Damon, well, thanks for sharing that. Because I found some of my granddad had a, a travel business at West Africa Sunday. I'll be back in the uh, new year. No problem. Well, listen, we're, we're not going anywhere. If you can't make it, you know, if you stick around, this is going to be recorded for you, Damon. All right. Now, um, let's go over a couple of more examples. CLSK, okay, has been a big mover. Okay. Now, we what we need to do is find the support level. Because whatever goes up comes down, right? We saw it going up and now it's going down. Now, the question is, can anybody here tell me where do you think support level would be? Let's have a little test. Let's have a little fun. I'm going to sit back and listen in here. Where do you think support level might be on the stock? What do we need? There you go, Damon. There we go, uh, Danielle Lee. We need buyers, right? We need buyers, okay? So... Anthony says 1110. Steve says around 11. I don't know where you got that number, but when I look over here, you're all wrong. It wasn't 11. It wasn't 1110. It was $10.90 because that's where the biggest buyer is sitting right now. So without even looking at some indicator or some stupid heat map or any of that crap, where do you think it's just going to hit support levels? Exactly right there and not only hit it right there it shot right back up and that stock went from a 1090 up to 1150 in a matter of i don't know an hour a little bit more an hour and a half so when you see a stock come down and you're like okay here's my opportunity to get it where's that opportunity the opportunity is you are the ants it's not what you think it's what they think Yes, David, level three is also known. It's, you know, technically it's not called level three. It's called total view. But yes, that's total view. Because it's the next level, which a lot of people used to like level one version, level two. And then there's obviously level three. Okay. Now, how about resistance? Without looking at a chart, without looking at an indicator, I'll look at anything. Okay. Look at CGC. We have two iceberg orders sitting here at... $5.55 and 557. You got between between those three numbers, you're talking about what? About 50,000 shares. What do you think is going to happen when we get close to 550? Five. 
What do you think? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? Ray said it's going to go down. Steve said it's going to go down. Mark down. Patrick down. Good. The chart didn't ever show us that. Chart never shows the iceberg order sitting there at 55. Chart tells me it's going up, right? That looks like we're going up here. Well, guess what? If you didn't know it was out there, you would have screwed yourself. How many times have you bought a stock and says, damn it, how did, could I have not known that that seller was out there? How could I have not had a game plan? And how would I have not known that if he was there, I would have got out? By the way, did I lose anybody? Did, did, did I lose anyone yet? Jason, Ray says far too many times. Not yet. Frank says I'm good. Nope. Christopher says no. You see, like, like, think about this for a second. How many of you have trained, got, took classes, okay? How many of you actually been trading? And now all of a sudden, you're like, why does nobody talk about this? This makes perfect sense. By the way, I didn't even know this data was even around and available for you. Like, really? I could see that? You know why? Because they're not traders. They were never, like, I live here in New York. Some of the best, I, I say this all the time. I live in a town where some of the biggest, most powerful traders live because we're the closest train uh, connection to Manhattan. You're not going to beat them, but you could follow them. You could you could follow these leads because you know what? That's what it comes down to. It Lisa actually makes sense, total sense. Well, thank you very much, Lee. I appreciate that. And it does. And let me tell you, Lee, when I started 30 years ago, I did the same thing. I was like you sitting on a counter and like when 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 the guy when when they when they offered this to me, I'm like, oh my God, how could anybody in their right mind be that stupid and that cheap not to have this data? And I'll tell you why. It's all those 10 million people out there in the world that don't that like to go to that free concert. And we all know the difference between going to a free concert and a paid concert. I don't want to be in a, I don't want to be in, in, in Central Park with a million people, okay? And with all the crime that's going on, I'd rather pay the, 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 the $50 and have to go through security and go to people that they know that are there to take it seriously. Okay. Now, as you know, the metaphor of kind of explaining that same, same, same concept. Um, yes, it's available for S and P and also the QQQs. Absolutely. All right. So can we see, um, let's go see something on a brand name stock. Okay. Let's look at something else. Let's look at FedEx. Did you guys see what happened with FedEx the other day, yesterday? Stock got destroyed. Didn't meet earnings. Stock tanked. Okay. Have you had that problem? Yeah. Happens all the time. But you think it's going to zero? Listen, we had a big buyer that showed up right around here, around uh, 248.50. When it was up, where, where, where did it get crushed from? It got crushed from 280, all the way down here, all the way down here, okay? Here, all of a sudden, we had this big buyer showed up right here. What do you think is going to happen, all right? What do you think is going to happen when it got to this price? Is it going to go up or is it going to go down? Up or down? Go up, right? Up. Right again. <laughs> Was that hard? Was that hard? I mean, this is not, this is not like this is not this is like kindergarten stuff. They're like, is it really that like is that really that easy? It is. You know what the hardest part about trading? The hardest part about trading is the greed and the discipline. That's really what it comes down to it. A lot of people just like. Well, if it's so easy, why isn't everyone doing it? Well, I guess how many people do you know actually talk about it? Listen, have any of you guys watched me on NASDAQ? You know, uh, uh, on their on their TV show? I mean, the reason why they come they they had me going on there because they want you guys to get the tool to use it. You know, that's where it comes down to it. Let's look at Nike. Okay, Nike had earnings come out late in the day. Okay, nice little push, right? All of a sudden, we got not as big as an order as the other one, but only 29,000 shares. But look at all the other orders out there. 100, 300, 200, 400. So what do you think? There's traders out there that sell at 123.40, okay? What do you think happened? Once again, not, and it wasn't the spies that did it. 
It was the order that was out there that did it. Because people would be like, oh, maybe it was the spy. It was the, you know, the, the Dow. No, it was the order that was out there. And if you didn't get out, look how fast it dropped in a matter of 30 minutes. It went from 123.40 down to 21.80. That is almost a $2 drop. You know how much money on a thousand shares that just cost you? That's a almost that's a that's almost a two thousand dollar loss. You do that every day, you're losing a half a million dollars a year. You know, so the reason why I'm bringing you showing you some more expensive stocks is because not only works on cheap stocks, it works on expensive stocks. Okay, so what happens when a stock breaks above a resistance? How about that? Listen, we see stocks break resistance levels all the time. So let's look at this example, POL. Right, there was a big seller at two fifty for eighty eight thousand shares. Right. So in theory, you think like, oh yeah, definitely resistance at 250. So look what happened. 250, this is what, seven o'clock. 250 came back, 250 came back, 250 came back. I mean, it just did not want to break 250, right? But then all of a sudden, several hours later, it went from 250, went to $4. How did that happen? Well, listen, someone decided after a while, like, you know what? I want to buy the stock. And yes, that could happen. And how do we know what happens? If you looked at time and sales, you would have saw that order get executed. So, and that's why it had such a big move like that, because such a big order got done, caused a big move like that. Happens all the time, all the time. Um, now, when you look at the resistance level here at 420 for another 50,000, you know, listen, it's all about having a game plan in the future. Because, yeah, so we broke that 250. Now we look back at level four, level three, and we're like, okay, well, the next biggest seller was at 420 for another 53,000. And sure enough, what did it do? It went right there and came right back down. But problem is that seller got done. That seller got done. And that was even a bigger order. Now what's happened, you're getting what's called a short squeeze. Ever heard of a short squeeze? Now, some of you people get scared of it, but you know what? If you're trying to wonder how these things go from like four to 10, there's your answer. Guy got squeezed because there he is again at, at 1080. <laughs> um, been caught in an ugly one. Well, Mark, you know what? Nobody could see, you know, and I, I won't, I won't bring it up, but let me, let's be honest, Mark, who really trained you? How did you learn how to trade? Are you self-taught? Do you have a mentor? Do you have a coach? Are you been taught from school? How did you really learn? Some penny guy? <laughs> well, listen, if it worked, you probably wouldn't have been here, right? So that's the good thing. Anyway, ran all the way to that new seller at 1080 and it came back down to seven. So eventually it was going to come down regardless. All right. Now, who here wants to buy Book Viewer? Who here wants to know where to get it? One person? Five people? That's it? There's 100 people in here. Everyone should say, raise your hand. Oh, you already got it. Okay, good, good. All right. This is where you're going to get it. Here's my email address. I want you to take my email address down, and I want you to email me. I am not giving you the web address, and I'll tell you why. Oops, that's a wrong person. Everybody is my email address. Sent it to the wrong window. Uh, everyone. That's weird. Oh, there we, I don't know why it's saying let me. Everyone, there we go. So everyone take my email address because I want to give you some videos how to actually set it up. And, um, you know, I want to make sure that you get it the right place. So... Take down my email address. Um, if you have any questions, quick question, but you could just write Fausto Semi Book Viewer. That's it. You don't have to go crazy and go nuts or whatever it is. Just say, you know, give me, give me Book Viewer. Okay. Now, one of the crazy part about this thing, when I started, because that, there you go. We have someone already asked me the question. When I started, it cost me $1,000 a month for this data, right? It doesn't cost 1000 doesn't even cost 100 It costs $15. And you 
And it, this is directly from the exchange. This ain't this ain't Fausto's software. This is right from the exchange. Fifteen dollars? Are you kidding me? Does anyone have a problem to spend fifteen dollars in the stock market to have a seat on the exchange to see over fifty percent of the volume in the stock that you're in right now? Fifty percent. No. Okay. Good. Because I till today. I still rack my brain how anyone here is being so cheap and so ignorant to, to trade the market and not have this. It just is beyond me. I, I just don't get it. Okay. I paid a thousand. I was 22 years old. I'm not telling you pay a thousand. I'm telling you pay $15. How do you not do that? Okay. Um, Oh, is that what is that what it is, Lee? Okay, that makes sense because people have a lack of belief. You know what someone else told me? They were in denial. You know, they're like, ah, you know what? I mean, yeah, I don't know yet. They still they're still trying to fix, make that thing that someone else taught them and the person before them to make sure it works. You know what I mean? Listen, if it's not working then, it's not working now. Now, let's move on. How can I learn and see more? Okay. Well, this is what I want to do would do with everybody. I want to invite all of you to come watch this live in the market, okay? Because not only are you going to be using it, but I also want you to see us use it in the market. And not only that, but I want to show you how we find the stocks. I want to show you how we set up the charts. I want you. To, I want. I want to give you that experience, okay? I started the first trading school in the industry. I don't care where or who you came from, whatever you are. I'm the one that actually I pioneered the webinar technology. A lot of the people you're you're seeing today in the industry, some of them are students. Some people copied us. You know, it's okay. It's flattering. And we, we always encourage our students to go continue and spread the knowledge out there because trading is an 80% failure rate. It's time to stop failing. And it's time to stop start believing. So, and this is why Cybertrade University has been endorsed by more exchanges and brokerage firms than anyone in the industry. Anyone. I don't think anybody here has taken a training course could actually put a screen like this, okay? And believe me, if we did, we would get in trouble, okay? But we can because, you know, I've done presentations for every single one of them. And let me tell you why. They want you to learn how to trade. If you know what you're doing, you'll be a client there forever. If you blow up your account, you're going to be gone pretty quickly. So not only that, but look at our Google reviews. OK, some schools don't even have Google reviews because they're so bad they took them down. But to be around for 30 years and have that type of review is priceless. OK, now I want you to be that person to put that Google review. I want you to be that person to be part of my team. I'm looking for traders I could train. I need my staff. We're looking for traders to trade with. So this is what we're looking to do. Um, not only are you going to be getting those tools, but I want you to see it live in the market. I want to see. I want you to see how we do our commentary, how we we, we talk to you in our in our rooms, how our traders do, how we do it in the morning, how we do it in the afternoon. All this good stuff. Okay, meet some weekly gurus, some of the best people in the industry. Maybe you're a swing trader. Maybe you're an options trader. Let me tell you, great traders surround themselves with great traders. You're going to meet a lot of them. We're going to be happy to bring them to you because we want you to teach you how to play the game the right way. Not going out there and trying to read it out of a book and try to pretend you're a doctor, okay? Now, how much is it going to cost? Well, listen, I am not looking for free people, okay? But what I am looking for is a serious trader, and all I'm asking for is $9. That's it. Get your phone, turn on the camera, and scan that QR code. Or we post the link right in the chat room. Click on that link. And we'll get you registered. Now, don't worry about paying the $15 for Book Viewer right now. You could do that. But for $9, I want to teach you live in trading. So all these stocks that we showed you, the MLNU, the, um, all these things that are running right now, Mara that's moving, SMFL, all these, you know, the short on, you know, uh, on uh, uh, FedEx, all those. Let me show you live what it's like to trade in a real trading con uh, mark condition. So you can see if like, okay, this works great. I'm sold Fausto, but let you practice what you preach. Yes, I'm not going to give you videos. We're going to go in the market and see it live. And not only that, 
we're going to introduce you to traders just like you and see if they if they know how to do it themselves. Because it doesn't matter how good of a trader I am. Yeah, I'm a 12-time world champion. Big deal. Okay? Yeah, I'm endorsed by everyone. Big deal. But can I teach you how to make money? Can my instructors, could Alex, could Josh, could Rich, could John, could Greg, could they teach you how to be good traders? Maybe the students can. Here's your opportunity. $9. Now, this is what you're going to get for the $9, okay? I am going to give you my book. You can buy it on Amazon for $47. It's been published by Wiley. They begged me to write this book for them, by the way, okay? You know, if you know, you know what Wiley is, Wiley is the, one of the biggest publishers in the world. You know, this is not like a self-published book. Oh, I, I'm a book because I wrote, you know, this is Wiley. They very rarely you find, you know, day trading books. How to be market makers in our own game. Here's your chance to do it. Okay. I'm going to give it to you for free for $9. Okay. It's going to come with all that stuff. Also, you're going to get workshops. You're going to get the trading room. Okay. And if you're not happy, I'll give you your $9 back at the end of the week or whenever it is. Listen, you got to be there all day. You could be there for an hour. You could be there one day. If you don't like it, I'll give you $9 back. But I don't know who you are, where you came from. So I just like to, this is just a, an application fee for me to let me know you, you're a real person or not. That's where it comes down to it. And I think that, you know what, this is like that, that security that you're going through. You know, you want to make sure that you're not going to a place where everybody's got guns and, you know, want to blow up the place, right? This is what we do. Okay. So we, that's how we kind of filter you out. Now, as you register, we're going to ask you five questions. Please let us know, um, are you, you know, who you're trading with? Have you been educated? You know, how you found us always kind of helps us out. Um, and then there's going to be another window after that. You're going to book an appointment. Every single one of you are going to talk to our staff. And we're going to do a nice little walkthrough with you. We're going to show you exactly what trading is, how to get. Because you don't want to go into a room and be like, so I go into the gym. I'm like, okay, here's the weights. Wouldn't it be nice to have like a personal trainer to kind of coach you through it and make sure it's what you want to do and make sure you don't hurt yourself? This is the kind of customer service we do. All right. Now, one last bonus I'm going to throw in there. The best one of them all. You register now. I will actually talk to you on the phone. Now, why is that? Well, listen, we need to have that conversation to see if this is for you or not, you know? And if you want to continue to do this as a career and how to do it the right way. Some of you, you'll know right away if it's for you or not. But whoever registers right now, you will get a personal coaching class with me. Now, that alone is not worth $9, okay? If you And if you don't, don't worry about it. You don't have to do it. But all you have to do is... Get your phone, scan that QR code, and go there. Now, I got a couple of people that just registered right now. Let's do a couple of shout-outs really quick. Wow, you guys are fast. Um, Robert, Robert, uh, Ju uh, was that, uh, Robert Smith, that's who you are. Got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Ray Jackson, got your registration. From San, 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 Santa Maria, California. Got your registration. Welcome aboard. Uh, Rich Springfield. Got your registration. Welcome aboard. I just see you guys registering right now, coming across. Um, any any questions? Think about this for a second. When I started, I had to work somewhere, split the profits, pay $1,000 for the software, you know, and I had to go commute my ass into the city, and I had to get a license. Today, you could do it for, you don't have to get licensed. You don't got to pay $1,000 and you don't got to travel to New York. You all know you want to do this, right? You've been doing it long enough. Are you really making money doing it? I'm not asking selling you a, a, a $1,000 product, okay? I'm selling you a $9 product. Think about all of you here, how much little you've learned just by understanding how to follow those orders. I mean, it was almost like common sense. So like, wow, that looked pretty easy. Imagine watching it live. And by the way, I got one last bonus I'm going to tell you. There is something called level four. I just showed you level three. When you come and join, I'm not going to tell about it now. But yes, there is a level four version out there. And, it's, and basically, it's on a chart. So imagine seeing that. 
Not even just looking at the numbers. Imagine seeing it on a chart. You all like to read charts, right? Um, Peter, the $9 is not lifetime. The $9 is one week, okay? <laughs> all right. I couldn't, I, I don't know if you check lately, but it's $15 an hour minimum wage. And believe me, people who work for me don't work minimum wage. I would lose, I, I would go out of business in about 30 seconds paying $9. All right. But it's just an entry fee. You're not going to pay any more than that. It's one week. All right. But if you, you should have access for it. Um, got a couple of more people registering here. So I got, uh, who else we got here? Just registered. David Hess from Georgia. Just got your registration from Roseville. Thank you very much. Appreciate the vote of confidence. Dave White got your registration. Um, Carol Kuhn got your registration. Welcome aboard. Greg Matthews got your registration. Welcome aboard. Thank you very much. Any other questions? Uh, will you be um, will you be trading next week with especially low volume? Ray, the market's open. We trade. Listen, I thought this week was going to be slow. We had that crash um, that we had yesterday. I thought last the week before that was going to be slow. We had that huge rally. You know, the market ran around what six hundred point five hundred points. So I, you can't project it. it. Yes, it's supposed to be slow with the Christmas holidays, but you know what? Not all twenty five thousand stocks are going to be trading slow. Sometimes companies have to move. OK. And by the way, I had another question that came across here. If you're going away and you want to start it the week after, you could do that. Just all you got to do is lock in the nine dollars now. And when you get to the point to make your appointment, you know, just book anything. And because we're going to confirm it with you anyway. And you could always change the date down the road. All right. Um, James, yes. So James' question, does, uh, does the trade station matrix provide the same information as book map, book view? Yes, it does. Actually, even more than that, James. And because um, it also has other ECNs out there. And we actually feature that platform in the trading room. So you'll see it more. All right. Guys, it's $9. $9. All you have to do is $9. Take a step. There's a lot of traders in here right now. See what it's about. See what it's like to trade today's markets. Uh, a couple of other people just registered. Who else I got here? Anthony V from Miami Lakes, Florida. Got your registration. Um, oh no, Peter. Peter, you don't have to pay. If you have life, if you if you're a lifetime student of ours, you don't have to pay nine dollars. If you want to give us a little donation, a little tip, you could be more than happy to. Uh Andre says, I already registered, but we'll start in January. No problem. We'll see in January. All right. Any other questions? And by the way, if you're watching on YouTube or maybe you watch this on recording, always, always remember, ring the bell, like the video, and subscribe to the channel. Okay? Because we do this. We, we're live every morning, and you can always get alerts when we're going on again. Okay? No problem. A couple of people are just registering right now. Uh, a couple more people just came in. Wayne K., from we from Texas got your registration. All right, perfect. All right, just see you guys. Listen, very important. Let us know a little bit about you. The more you let us know more about you, the more we can help answer your questions. Um, you know, like how long you've been trading for. I mean, we ask like really five basic questions. It's more of like a more of a tell us a little bit about yourself. And like, do you have level three already? You know what I mean? Like, who trained you? I pretty much know all the good ones and bad ones out there. I know everyone in the industry. I've been around the block way too long. So anyone who's taken training, it'll give me a little bit more of a better understanding of who trained you, what kind of style you are, all that good stuff. Okay. Um, do you send out the link for the recording, David? Yes. We're going to be sending it out once we're done. Once we propagate it. All right. Any other questions? Well, you guys are great. Great questions. Great staff. Great everybody here. I'm glad you guys showed up. I know a lot of people expect to go on wait today. And it looks like, you know, we I was actually very impressed. It was twice as many people I thought were going to show up than I thought. So it's good to see you. Um, we're almost done with the 20, by the way. Guys, remember, um, you get the book, you get the videos, you get the classes, and you get the coaching class with me. Um, who else we got here? Dolores, got your registration. Matthew, we're almost past that 20. I think we are. Uh, Johnny from Texas, that was you. 
John Edwin, got your registration. Welcome aboard. Thank you so much. Look forward to seeing you in the trading room. All right. All right. So if everyone else, um, you still got time to register. You know, you got the link right there. Um, I wish everyone a great happy holidays. I am so excited for 2024. Don't you like, it's not only the fun part of the season, but like, don't you feel fun? Like, oh my God, like, I just look forward to starting a new year. But then I, then I feel like it's like a catch 22. It's like, then I'm going to feel like I'm older. But, um, you know, getting rid of COVID and all that and just getting a new year is just so much fun. You know, and especially if you're trading, you know, like if you had a good year, a bad year, a flat year, let's start fresh, you know, with a new year. What do you say? So here's your great opportunity. Buy yourself a birthday gift, a Christmas a little holiday gift. You can buy someone a birthday gift if you want to. But go out there. If you're not going to buy for yourself, go buy one for someone else too. Why not? Say, listen, you know what? If you're listening to your spouse and like, you know what? You, 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 your significant other, buy this for them as a, as, a, as a holiday present, Christmas present. Hey, you know what? I bought you a present. I want you to listen to Fausto Puglisi. You've been trading for a while. You know what? Buy five of them for everyone. Put them all on. Give them all gift cards. Buy them and put it under the tree when you have a holiday, your, 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 your party. I think they'll love it. All right? Um. Yeah, it's like getting old, Patrick's not that bad. I just got to dye my hair a little bit now. Sometimes I feel like I'm losing my hair. I got in trouble the other day. I was on NASDAQ and I was talking to this, I was talking and to the people, the people in my room. And they were telling me, I was like, I'm like, yeah, we're talking about getting older. I'm like, I know I'm freaking out. I'm like, I feel like I'm losing my hair a little bit. And they looked at me and they're like, you got good hair. Because I was talking to um, the girl and on the right of me, all three of the guys were bald. And they look at me like, like, Fausto, are you kidding me? You see, you see what I'm, I'm dealing with right now? He says, you're lucky you have it. And I'm like, all right. I said, I should just shut up right now. <laughs> let's get this. Let's get the thing rolling. Anyway, I'll see you all. Wish everyone a Merry Christmas, a Happy New Year. Look forward to seeing the trading room and look forward to seeing, uh, you know, like I said, we'll see you all there. Good luck, everyone. And thanks for listening.